Hey there, once again, it's me, Gia Lasala, fashion designer and now pageant blogger. And welcome to Pageant Talks. And I'm so honored that finally one of the front runners for this year's Miss Universe have been creating such a huge impact in the pageant industry. Here we have Miss Universe Canada 2020 Nova Stevens. Hi, Nova. Hi, darling. Hi, how are you? I'm doing great. And you look so fashionably chic. For this interview. Thank you. Oh, this whole thing. This whole thing. Oh, I know. <laughs> you look so sassy, you know. I, I love your vibe. So let's keep this light and energetic. So part let's one of the interview, we'll get to know Nova Stevens. And I'm sure you've seen you know, a lot of interviews about Nova, but we'll just, you know, try to get something out of her heart today. So Nova, are you ready? As a heart attack. That's not good, but yes, I'm ready. <laughs> Okay, so Nova, <laughs> tell us who you are and what is it that you want the world to know about you? Hmm, who am I? The infamous question, who are you? Well, I'm Nova Stevens, Miss Universe Canada 2020. I'm a Sudanese woman as well as a Canadian woman. I have immigrated to Canada at the age of six years old. I have been living in Canada this whole time as opposed to obviously traveling overseas for modeling, but my family actually resides in Africa. It has been over 20 years since I've last seen them. I am a lover of life. People like to paint me as a serious person, but I'm actually quite the opposite. I like to enjoy life, I like, I like to laugh, I like to joke around and dance, but of course I do have a serious side because when something matters to me, I have to be serious and let you know that this matters to me. So. There are many sides to me. I don't want people to think that I'm just one-sided. Uh, you flip a coin and it's like always heads. No, I, I'm vibrant. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, I'm vibrant. I just want to show the world that there is more to me than what you see on social media. Because I got, at the end of the day, social media is not the whole story. It's right. only a fraction of who you are. So just be careful before you judge people based on what they post. Yeah, and I like that, you know, I like that you're showing your vibrant side now because like every every time I see you on social media, it's all about like you being so serious about your cause. And because they force me. People <laughs> literally force me. No, I'm so serious. People literally force me to be that way. Not that they're <laughs> telling me, but they're always asking me important issues, right? I'm right, not going right. to be laughing at something that is serious. Right. And as I mentioned to you earlier, pageant questions are always the same thing. Why should you win? Da, 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 da. It's always very serious, mundane questions. I'm sorry, right. guys, but <laughs> I'm so tired of asking those questions. Give me something more. Like, give me more life. I know, you already yeah. know my story. Everything is out there. <laughs> yeah, you know, I have I have the same, like, concern, like, nowadays, because like, I've been, I'm a Bardigan Christian, and uh, you know, you know, thank you. And you know how it is, like, you know, I like to study theology. I like to get to know Jesus Christ. But for all you know, yeah. being in a relationship with Jesus Christ is actually like having a relationship with a friend. It's so Absolutely. light. It's so beautiful. Yeah. And I just really want to be a kid all over again. So I could feel yeah. you, Nova, yeah. from here. And I just want to hug yeah. you. And I'm just party. Yeah. Oh, you're so sweet. You're so I sweet. I know. So you've mentioned that... Um, you haven't seen your parents for like 20 years like how do you communicate and how how has it been for them like for two decades now yeah yeah it's i mean it hasn't been easy of course yeah. i've been living alone since i was 15 and having to essentially raise myself i was a student athlete i worked a job to support myself as well as my family so that has always been it's kind of put a strain on i don't want to say my life or our relationship, but at times it is stressful because yeah. they put all this pressure on me to support them. And of course, if I have money, I'm going to send it to you. You don't even have to ask me. I'm I'm such a giver. I will give you the shirt on my back if right. you need it. So for me, it's been difficult. It's been really difficult. There are times where I have given up opportunities because I didn't want to, you know, neglect my family. If I was offered a job elsewhere, which wasn't guaranteed, yeah. I chose the latter of staying at home to work so that I could send them money and support them. So I often wondered how much would my life differ had I grown up with my family, you know, but right. at the same time, I understand they live in a war-torn country. They don't have the opportunities that I have here in Canada. So I'm grateful for that. 
but it is a lot of pressure. It is a lot of pressure. But again, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, right? So. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> and I just would like to honor your heart because by the grace of God, He allowed you to be there in Canada, and has provided mm. for you. So I will pray for you always, Nova. You know, oh, you're just, so uh, sweet. Thank I you. Know. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank so you. Sweet. And. And you know, you just have to always seek God, and He will definitely provide for you, and He will make your burdens light. Listen, yeah. my whole life—you guys only know like a quarter of my life story—but my whole life is a testament to God. You know, I'm not a religious person, but I do believe in a higher power. I would not be who I am today if it wasn't for you know God or the higher being, because I've been through some crazy experiences. I should not be here today, but I am because of God and the strength that God has instilled in me and my angels that protect and guide me. Oh, absolutely! Yeah, praise the Lord all the way. Praise, praise the Lord. Praise be to God. <laughs> I know, and I could relate to you. We'll have more conversations mm -hmm. about you know going through difficult times, but here you are, very brave, and you should show more of that of your side on social yeah. media that you're having fun okay so i do have fun but i'm the type of person i'm not really into social media i don't I you know. know i just i like to live in the moment so that's why if i'm with my friends i don't even use like, like to use my phone i just want to yeah. have fun and <laughs> immerse myself in the moment but yeah high five to that you know I, i'm like that too so okay yeah. next question so what is in your heart that you want the world to see and feel it doesn't have to be serious though, but yeah. I know, but I feel like matters of the heart are serious. So what's in my heart that I want people to see is that, you know, I'm just really tired of people judging people based on the way they look. Yeah. And I know that you're all tired of me saying that, but I'm also tired of seeing these comments and hearing these <laughs> things. Like you are, oh, I don't want a pro another Zozi prototype. Yeah. Zozie and I don't look anything alike. The only yeah. commonality is that we are both black women. We both have short hair. Yeah. You know, nobody seems to have an issue with a Latina winning back to back or Philippines winning back to back. But when it's a black woman, people seem to have an issue with that. And that concerns me because it makes me feel as though the world, as much as we like to think we have progressed, we have not progressed because right. progression means accepting everyone. Right. You know, you shouldn't be mad if someone of color wins, even if they win four years in a row. If they're the best candidate those years, why not? Yeah. Why is color such a huge factor? And I hear things like, she's not a beauty queen. What is a beauty queen? What is a beauty queen? You are a beauty queen. No, but do you know what I mean? What is a beauty yeah. queen? To me, beauty is so much deeper than the exterior. You have to have more than just outside beauty. It has to be inner beauty as well. Beauty queens have progressed. It's not just about marching on, walking on stage and looking pretty. Right. That's, to me, that's kind of, it's like, a, in a way, it's almost like you're diminishing what a woman is because a woman is more than that. A woman is both beautiful, intelligent, and strong. But if you're telling me that I can only be one thing, which is beautiful, that means you don't think I'm capable of anything as a woman. Right. So I think that's actually a backward way of thinking. Yeah, and I could totally relate because like I'm quite yeah. the opposite. I love black women. And if you've seen... The, love all women. Yeah, and if you've seen mm -hmm. like the history of the girls that I've been dressing up at Miss Universe, majority of them are from Africa. And I don't mm -hmm. know, I just have fascination with women of color, more yeah. so with Asian women. So with your concern, like, I haven't really seen yet an Asian woman win Miss Universe too. The last time was Miss Japan. And same with you, right? Yeah, so. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> so Nova, I could feel you. So yeah, I agree. So number three, yeah. what is your aspiration in life? Ooh, do you have a do you have time? Because I have a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you go like go ahead. Like, what's your major major aspiration Honestly, in life? Honestly, there are yeah. so many things that I want to accomplish. I just hope I have enough time. Yeah. So I've I've recently become a bestseller. Oh, so I co congratulations! A book. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. I co-authored a book. It's called Pursuit Three Sixty Five, and it's with three hundred and sixty-five Canadian women. 
Okay. So I'm one of those women. I am going to launch my nonprofit soon. I haven't yet, but that's always something that's been very dear to my heart. You know, growing up in Canada, Canada has adopted me. So I've always told myself that I was going to give, give back in any way that I can. And that's through nonprofit or philanthropy. Another thing is you might be surprised about you. I don't think you'll be surprised, but <laughs> I'm going to get into politics um, oh, because I wow. feel like, yes, I feel like that's, that's one of one of the many ways that I can really invoke change, real change and permanent change. So I'm going to get into politics. So you might be looking at um, a future prime minister of Canada. Yeah. <laughs> so I yeah. definitely want to run for office one day. Another goal of mine is to, I just want to be a mogul. I want to do it all because I think we can do it all. You don't yeah. have to just do one thing. Right. So I want to open a fashion line, makeup line. I want to, okay, home decor. Like I love home decor. Like if you see my house, I'm not home right now because I'm not in Canada, but I just, I love home decor. And I just think Nova, Casanova is such a great name for I like know, a home I know. Decor, Right? <laughs> okay. So look out for Casanova, your future. No. Okay. Here's my motto. Casanova. Ah, oh, I forgot it. Darn, <laughs> I had it. I had it. Casanova. I always feel at home. Okay, no, I don't remember. I have it written down. I'll I'll tell you later. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah. But Casanova is the name because I feel like Casa, because home, and then Nova. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I, I feel like I just would like to release this, like the Lord impressed to my heart that with regards to your aspiration in politics, that you definitely are going to win. You just have to oh. really put in the work. You just have to like be committed. You're so sweet. Of course, thank you. And just have to be, uh, you remain steadfast and faithful to the kind of cause that you're doing. Because I feel like uh, with the things that you've been saying, especially in politics, that your heart is been poured out so much into creating a difference and that is the heart of god and i think that you have an anointing with that you know Aww. where you create change and yeah just There's remain you know feel free to love you're free to love like you know everyone in a healthy way Absolutely. just pour your out to people that need love because we all need love and you're definitely going to achieve a lot of things nova you know in christ Jesus, Aww, you you're so that's sweet the real of god hug yes. you Hug, hug, virtual, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> virtual hug too bad covid happened and i can't travel so oh my yeah. god i feel like things are looking up we're gonna travel pretty soon i think things i mean i i'm in mexico city right now um yeah. i've been here for over a month okay over a month a lot of my training has been here you know nothing's really open in canada so my team and i felt because my team lives in in Mexico. Right. Yeah, so I'm, I thought, why right. not just join them? You know, that way we can work close together as opposed to right. virtually because it's not as effective, you know? I know, I know. And and Mexico has been amazing to me. Oh my goodness. I love it here. I know because like uh, Mexico is quite diverse like the Philippines. We're like very open to a lot of things and we celebrate things like practically mm -hmm. everything. We celebrate everything. So <laughs> I don't know about like diverse in terms of different like ethnicity yeah let me tell you when i'm walking outside in mexico everyone is here and then there's me like <laughs> i stick out like a sore thumb oh my goodness you have no idea i can't even hide even if i want that's why i cannot i can never be a criminal because i can i can't hide yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, <laughs> well but you'll I never can't. be a, that's the thing nova because you were born that way god created you that way so, mm -hmm. so that you'd stand out easily and make your voice heard. Even when right I don't away. want to, I have no choice. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're going to use that for the good, right? So, okay. Yeah. So, yeah, you've mentioned earlier that you have no uh, recall about being a, a survivor of war. But from the perspective of your parents, like, how was it like? Like, you know, because like, I'm a survivor of war. Technically, I experienced war yeah. back in Mindanao indirectly, but I could hear cannonballs from the other the other side of town. It's quite scary. I was 12 years old. So how about yeah. you? Like, the side of your, your parents, you know? Yeah, you know, I actually recall when I was, I remember I was, when I was in Africa, it's crazy how I still have memories, but yeah. I remember being at home and looking th through the window, out the window. Yeah. It's not like a glass window. It's because it was a hut. Yeah. I remember looking out and I saw just people charging at each other with spears. Mm. 
And at that time, I didn't understand what was going on. But I'm a product of war. You know, my mother fled South Sudan to Kenya, where I was born. So it's because of the war. My family was actually separated up until 97, I believe. So I, I had never seen my father or my other siblings up until 97. Oh. I remember when oh. I met my father for the first time, I was like, it's grandpa. My mom was like, no, that's your dad. I'm like, no, it's grandpa. Because he looked old to me. And like, here I am, a young child. I've never seen this man in my entire life. And all of a sudden, my mom's like, this is your dad. And I'm like, he looks really old. Yeah. But he's actually not, doesn't look that old. And, um, and then shortly after that, I came to Canada. So I've actually only known my father and my siblings for maybe a year or two of my entire life. Mm. My mother, I've known the longest, of course, because I was in Kenya with her. But it's been hard because my mother was actually in a UN camp. I'm not sure if you're aware of that, but she's been in, mm. she was in a UN camp from 24, no, before that, beyond that. But the war started in 2014. And thank God I recently got her out of there less than a, a month ago a month yeah. or so ago yeah which oh my goodness i because i've tried for so many years i've i've honestly felt defeated at times because i wasn't able to get the money because at the time it was a lot of money money that yeah. i can't afford people might think that i'm rich maybe i will be in the future but at the moment i'm not so let's <laughs> put that out there you know so <sighs> It was really hard for me to enjoy life knowing that my mother, my old mother, who is who is also sick, is living in a UN camp and she's telling me all these horrific stories about what's going on in there. It just it just broke my heart that I wasn't able to get her out for such a long time. Like I felt like a failure. But so once she got out, I, I felt so relieved, like a huge weight just lifted off my shoulder. Honestly, yeah. that's been like the biggest goal of mine is to get my mother out. I've always said I cannot go to Africa and I haven't been unless yeah. my mother is out the UN camp. So it took her 24 days to reach Ethiopia. She traveled by foot as well as boat, but she made it. My mother is a strong woman and I feel like I'm my mother because I, <laughs> the strength that I have, I, it has to be from her. Absolutely. Yeah. She's been through so many things, but this woman is so strong. Like I'm telling you, she is wow. I, know, I just can't wait I, to just hug them, you know? Oh. I know. And I feel like, <clears throat> sorry, excuse me. And I feel like it's not going to take so soon that you'd be reunited with them. And I feel like I just want to declare that may the Lord's provisions be released to you now so that eventually you'd be with your parents. But it's definitely the desire of the Lord. It's in his heart that you'd be reunited with your mom. He hears your prayers, Nova. You're so sweet. Oh my God, you're so <laughs> sweet. I love you. You're so sweet. I love you too. Because like, you know, I feel like, you know, I can, you know, all of us are capable of releasing heaven here. And I don't want to be selfish in releasing that to you. Because the Absolutely. desire of God is always about family and relationships. And yes. it love. Has, yeah, and it's, it has broke your heart for a long time. And the Lord yeah. does not want to see your heart broken. He wants it to be filled. With his love. Yeah. You're so and, sweet. And Why aren't you in person? You should be here in person. I know. I'll, <laughs> I'll be there soon. And we should come to the Philippines. I would definitely take you around. And uh, my, me and my friends, you know, would, would love to have you. Okay. So hang in there, right? Okay. 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 So, <laughs> so um, yeah. So you're considered a very strong and empowered woman. How do you enjoy the mundane things in life? You know, that's, it, it just boggles my mind when I hear the word, when I hear myself being referred to as an activist. And then it makes me question, why aren't you an activist? You know, I feel like there sometimes is a negative connotation to the word activist. Right. An activist is someone who is passionate about a cause. Right. That's what it is. So you should also be an activist. You don't have to be passionate about my causes, but you should find something in life that you want to fight for. Yeah. We should all be activists. So how do I enjoy the mundane things in life? I don't think life is mundane. I think there's always enjoyment in whatever it is you do. For me, it's more so the company. Yeah. I can have fun just sitting on the ground outside talking to my friends, you know, because for me, it's about those relationships, togetherness. It's not so much about always doing something exciting or yeah. adventurous. I am very adventurous, don't get me wrong, but 
I don't need to always be doing something exciting to have excitement in my life. Like this is fun to me. I'm having fun right now and we're Thank you. <laughs> some might say we're doing nothing, but this is fun to me. Yeah. I love people. I really like connecting <laughs> with people, but I feel like that side of me is not really being portrayed on social media or people are choosing to paint me a, a certain way, you know? Like a, social media has a way of uh, kind of deciding painting a picture you know yeah. that's that's yes i am that person but i'm also so many other things you know <laughs> i'm i'm not always serious and yes i'm i'm a proud proud activist because i believe in human rights i will fight for anyone's rights it's not just right. black people's rights it's crazy that people think that i only care about black people i care for all beings if yeah. you were in need of a friend or a voice i will be there i'm in mexico and i went to the women's march I had no idea how big it was. It's huge here. And my heart goes out to the women here because it's it's not the same. You know, these yeah. women don't have the same legal rights as men do. Yeah. And there are lots of women going missing. Every day a woman has, go, has gone missing or she's dead somewhere. And a lot of pe people don't, people do care, but there's not a lot being done about it. And I'm, I feel so ashamed that I had no idea this was going on, at least in this magnitude. It's right. not, it's not good. There were so many young women that gave me hope because it's us, we are the future. We're the ones that are going to be making the changes because unfortunately our parents are going to be passing away soon. So it has to be us that are going to be educating the next generation, which will be our children. So I don't know, it just, I, don't, I just, the world just makes me sad sometimes, you know, <laughs> because I don't know why I'm getting emotional, but I just, I don't know. I feel like I misunderstood, you know, and mm -hmm. the things that people call me, I've never been called in my entire life. I can tell you the pageant community has been like the most amount of hate I've ever experienced in my entire life has been from the pageant community. Um, the most amount of names I've been called, it's from the pageant community. I've never experienced that type of hate before. I've, I've lived life thinking that most people were kind, only to realize that that's not the case at all. You know, people think they have the right to call you names, to say mean things to you and all these messages and comments, but they have to realize that words, words have magnitude, words have power. That's why you have to choose your words so carefully. Right. Because you don't know what those words are doing to that person, you yeah. know? Yeah, it's just, I just think we, we can do more. Yeah. We can definitely do, we can all do more. You know, you don't, I don't expect you to love me. I don't. You should, because I'm, because I'm your fellow sister. I'm a human being. Yeah. But what I don't want is for you to hate me without you even knowing me. How can you hate someone that you don't even know? Right. Yeah. Based on it just the, their exterior alone it just it just try it, it honestly i feel like mentally <laughs> i've gone through a lot because of this industry because i just i don't understand it like hate is not something that lives in my heart i don't yeah. believe in hating people i don't believe in judging people you know i don't believe in expressing hate of course i'm human and i there are times where I've had negative thoughts about someone, but I check myself. You know, we can't always control our thoughts. Right. But we can control what comes out of our mouth. Yeah. You know, and I just want people just to have more control, just be more conscious of what you're saying and realize that as different as we may look, we're all the same. Yeah. And I feel like I just want to say that, you know, there's a verse in the Bible that out of the abundance of the heart, heart the mouth speaks. And while listening to you, I feel like, Nova, that you're so filled with love and uh, just because you're filled with love the devil tried to destroy that because he comes to kill steal and destroy and he knows that you are very much filled with love affection and so much compassion from your parents and you know what the devil does is he really just destroy and defile everything and what you've experienced is you know nothing different from what i experienced too when i chose to follow god and um I feel like that, you know, the devil always magnifies everything, magnifies the hate, magnifies everything. And these things are just noise. 
And mm-hmm. I feel like I just want to I just want to tell you that the Lord sees you differently. Uh-huh. He sees you as someone beautiful, accomplished and fulfilled. And I feel like I just want to declare that one day the Lord will just definitely fill all of those things for you. Just invite him in and once that you receive his love and he fills you in, nothing else would matter and everything will be just noise and you will just completely move forward because this noise nova is just really hindering you from, you know, fulfilling the things that the Lord wants you to fulfill. And Oh, a- absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. No, I agree. Social media is sometimes it can be a disease, you know, depending yeah. on what information is being spread. So, I try not to look at comments or yeah, I don't I don't look, try to look at, at comments because it doesn't serve me anything whether it's a positive or a negative pos- uh, comment. It doesn't really do right. anything for me. It doesn't uplift my life. Yeah. You know, and I don't want to get in the habit of just seeking great comments because that right. becomes vanity. Like why do yeah. I care about what people think of me? You shouldn't, yeah. right? right? But for me, what where I care is because it, it becomes a race thing. You know, yeah. if you don't like me because you don't like <clears throat> who I am as a person, hey, that is fine. But yeah. if you the only reason as you not liking me is because of the way I look. Yeah. Yeah, and um being I'm like, you know, know. <laughs> yeah, I know. And I feel like I feel like um saying also that you should be the salt and light of this world uh, and i know that you want to affect change so yeah just disregard all of those things and just continue mm-hmm. being nova stevens like creating change and if they reject you well they miss the opportunity of receiving the love that the lord has given you and you're overflowing yeah. the love of the lord to them so just be your nova continue to like affect change <laughs> and add like You have an audience with me. I'll support you on that, okay? You're so, so don't you worry. Thank you. Thank so, you. <laughs> next, what makes you happy and what are your quirks? What makes me okay? What makes me really happy? <laughs> I love potatoes. Oh, <laughs> I love Come to the Philippines. You have potatoes. a lot of potatoes. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anything potatoes, the key to my heart. Okay, this one Christmas, I had a friend of mine that um I had a roommate, one of my friends that we were living together, and it was mm-hmm. Christmas. She went home to go live with her family or to yeah. go visit her family. And of course, I don't have family here and I just didn't want to it, I didn't want to intrude. So I'm like yeah. I said I'll, I'll stay home. So she gave me two gifts. And when I opened it, it was two big bags of potato chips yeah. and I'm telling you, I was so happy because to me it's not about the price it's about the sentiment like the fact that yeah. she knew how much i love potatoes and got me potatoes the way i smiled you would have thought i received a chanel bag or something you know what i mean like i felt like i really love anything chips anything potatoes and plants plants and crystals that's a key to my heart give me a plant or crystals i'm okay. i'm happy okay at least um, you know what to give you on christmas yeah Yeah. <laughs> and then you said what quirks. makes me what's a quirk? Okay. Yeah, your quirks, yeah. So, I okay, so I like to think that I'm actually um from Surrey, England. My okay. I'm actually from Surrey, England. So my alter ego is an English woman, a fabulous <laughs> one, you know. So I was in the south of France just you know in my yacht with my lovely lovely lady <laughs> friend or oh, not lady friend what am i saying oh, lady friend she has my heart um so i like to speak in an english accent and i love to just sing out of nowhere like my life is literally like a musical i'll just look at i'm like i'm wide awake like i just like to sing out of nowhere like <laughs> give me a word and i'll find a song like i'm actually serious <laughs> yeah 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 so they like, come um... Have you tried like you said you like potatoes so like, in the Philippines you have a lot of potatoes like sweet potatoes purple you potatoes and stuff like that so and you've been you've, you 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 grew up practically in Canada spent half of your life there have you tried any Filipino food so far Yes one of my favorite <laughs> desserts oh my god oh, I almost forgot oh I'm so sad one of my best friends oh can I love you he's out he's Filipino so he always makes me this Filipino uh, dessert. It's sticky rice. It's no glutinous rice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With like cinnamon or something like that, and like coconut. Do, do you know what I'm talking about? It's so good. Oh my god, it's so good. I want some right now. But that is like, that, yeah. when, like when I came, oh. when I left Canada. 
I think yeah. I know that. Is it like um, it's a sag, it's a sago or uh, it's it's jelly? It's a jelly thing or uh, kind of kind of jelly like. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But it's it's so good. It's you can have it with like yams too. But oh, it's yeah, it's delicious. So when I left Canada, he made me a lot to take with me, and I'm telling you, I finished it in two days. <laughs> I'll research that and I would know the when name. When I love and, something, yeah. When I love something, I have, I can't, I can't, I can't hold back. I have, I can't contain myself. I just kept going back to the kitchen. I'm like just a little bit, just a little bit. Before you know it, it's gone. It's gone. Yeah, and, it's I, and, so good. and I feel like your digestion is really fast, so you don't really have yeah. to worry about. Because <laughs> <laughs> if that was not the case. Lord, I know. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> what is your favorite color, and why? Okay, I feel like I have lots of colors. Okay, so I love like dusty rose, dusty pink. Yeah. It's like it's just so soft and like feminine. I also love yellow. Like yellow is like vibrant and it just screams like power to me. Yeah. yeah. And like happiness, like it, it screams happiness and like joy. And I also love blue because of the color of the sky is blue and then i love green because i love nature <laughs> i don't i'm more than one i'm sorry I it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> favorite um <laughs> favorite movie and why like all time like you've been, you've watched it like over and over again okay okay so I have several again. I'm sorry. I'm in, I'm indecisive. Okay, leave me it's alone. Okay. <laughs> so, I love Mean Girls. I don't know. I just think it's like a cute little chick flick. I also love Pretty Woman. Mm -hmm. I also love Clueless and Bring It On. Like I love the Bring It On series. Um, and Coach Carter. Yeah. You know, I grew up. I'm an athlete. I grew up as an athlete. So. I always relate to these athletes on screen, and I just understand right. what it takes to be an athlete. It's it's hard mentally, yeah, yeah. physically. So, competition is nothing new to me. I've always I've, I've been competing my whole life. So, Miss Universe, I'm like, I'm like, okay, it's like it's like a basketball game. I'm getting prepared. I'm gonna train every day. I'm gonna train my mind because it's, it's more of a mental game than it is a yeah. physical game. Yeah, yeah. But Coach Carter makes me cry. Like, okay, I cry more so in ha like happier. Oh, that sounds so bad, but like happier scenes than like sad ones. Like, okay, so for Coach Carter, this one scene, oh, it's kind of sad actually, but he's like, young man, what is your greatest, no, young man, what is your, oh my God, what is the line? <laughs> what is your deepest fear? Okay, no, not that part, not, it's not happy, but you know, like our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Like okay. that, oh, I just cry because I'm like, Oh my god, that's so sad. I'm like, <laughs> I understand, you know. There are times as an athlete where I felt like I wasn't good enough, or yeah. you know, you just get in your head and then you you start to question and doubt your abilities. You know, I, I um, received a, ba a basketball scholarship out of high school. Wow. So I went from being the star athlete where I'm, you know, the best one on the team, whatever you want to call it, and then I go to post secondary, and I'm now one of many. So that really messes up with you. You go yeah. from being the star, everything's about you, you're the center of attention, and now you're just like everyone else. And right. you have to compete to gain your like playing time. So that's that was my experience in um when I played basketball. I went from being the best to being one of many that are also good. So yeah. <laughs> prove yourself. Yeah. yeah. And, and the move yeah, and the movies that you mentioned earlier are like old movies. Like I think I was still in high school or grade school. Yeah, yeah, yeah so you they're like, old. You like old movies? <laughs> I like old movies. I don't know. I love old movies. New movies. Ooh, The Matrix. Okay, that I love The Matrix. So that is, that's still that, kind of that old, right? movie. Yeah, it is very old. That I did not understand. It was kind of like no? very technical for my brain. So. Oh, I know. <laughs> Okay, so my genres that I love, number one, sci-fi. That okay. is, like, I love sci-fi. Sci-fi, and then it goes thriller, but not scary. More okay. like mind thrillers. Like, I like right. suspense. I, I hate scary movies. Okay. Like, like, I don't like scary movies because 
most of my life I live, I've lived alone. So imagine watching a scary movie, <laughs> going home and I'm like, and my imagination is wild. So I will literally see what I just saw on screen. So I stopped watching scary movies. And then I also like, um, so thrillers, obviously chick flicks and sp actions. I like action, action movies. movies. Okay, okay. I'm gonna play an action superhero one day. Yeah. Supernova. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you could be like a superhero, like you could play Storm in X Men. Ooh. Yeah, I would I never would know. Storm. Yeah, because like. Let's put it out there. I know. Maybe on like, my next. Yeah. Yeah, because like Aurora Monroe is actually like a tall African woman and she can fly. Uh, yeah. Or maybe they'll make a new superhero just for me. I know. <laughs> so, yeah, so Nova, um, who's your favorite um, Hollywood actor, actress, or any kind of actress? Actor. Okay, like? so I love Angelina. Um, I know she doesn't really act as much anymore, but like I was obsessed with her. That was, right. she was like my everything. I'm like, she's beautiful. She's talented. I'm like, Angelina. Um, who else? Viola Davis, I think she's a phenomenal actress. Yeah, oh I like goodness. her too. She's amazing. Yeah. yeah, she can. And I also, I okay, I was watching Cookie from Empire, so I'm like, you know what? I I liked Roger P. Henson too. Like she, she's <laughs> fun. I like her. I like her. I want to be her friend. I want to be her friend. Um, yeah, I, don't, I feel like I like a lot. I don't really have like a favorite, you know? Like I just, I appreciate all those talents. It's, yeah, yeah. acting is not easy. I remember being on set for like 14 hours and like you're having to do your lines over and over and over again. It's exhausting mentally and physically. Right. And then come back the next day, do it all over again. Again, and you're but just gonna appear for fun. five it's seconds, fun. right? Yeah. Yeah, literally, <laughs> oh my God, right? 14 hours for like, seconds on the screen. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> uh, yeah, it is. Cause like I, I tried like hosting on TV for a show um, and then we shoot for like 14 hours for like a 30 minute episode. Right? Can you imagine? Like <laughs> Even Instagram videos. Oh my, Cause I'm a perfectionist. So if I'm recording a video, I'm like, oh no, I said this thing wrong. Oh, I did this. I just, I can't. It takes me so <laughs> long to record. A one or two minute video it takes me so long because i want everything to be perfect so then i'm and then i'm like okay, whatever i just give up because what is there is no such thing as perfection i know it exists. Yeah. So let's, yeah and and people nowadays they have like a small attention span so you don't exactly. really have to like put out something like perfect like perfect or something you just have to get their attention yes but i always i i I always have a lot to say. So yeah. <laughs> for me, the issue is always condensing. Like for my speech today um, at the women, the, how do you say it in Spanish? Congreso Nacional de Mujeres. I was given like two minutes because I had a, I had to get a translator. So for me, that was so hard because I there was so much to say. And then I only had two minutes. I'm like, oh my God, what can I say in two minutes? Like, hi, that's it. That's all I can say in two minutes. Yeah. So my issue is always saying too much. Or yeah, because I always feel like I'm not saying enough. So I'm like talking and like right now, I'm like talking and talking and talking. <laughs> <laughs> you just love to express yourself and same here. Because like, you know, uh, I'm a conversationalist. So I love to talk. And we can yeah. talk all day. Yeah. So, okay. Uh, favorite drink. Or do you drink? I don't drink. Oh wow! I don't Same drink. Here. Not too much. Yeah. yeah. I've never, I've never actually. I've had a sip of alcohol to try. My first time sipping alcohol was on my twenty fifth birthday. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and I was like, oh, this is what you guys drink. Like, it just did not taste good to me. So I don't drink. My favorite drink is a smoothie, a green smoothie. I love oh. smoothies. Oh my god, I could live off smoothies all day. Yeah, I, I should um, learn how to drink that too. Yeah, they're so good, they're so good for you. Yeah, so I know. Good for you. Oh, I want to have a smoothie shop. Nova smoothie. <laughs> you know what? No, you should like create your own mall or department store for everything. Stop giving me ideas. I know, and then everything's like Nova, Nova, yeah, Nova. Yeah, yeah. That's so funny. That is so funny. 
<laughs> yeah, with their like home decor thing, with their smoothie. So, the host. That is not a bad idea. Oh yeah, because like whole mall, you have Nova shoes, you have Nova dresses, yeah. Nova hair, Nova whatever. Nova everything, like know. super Nova mall, and and everything's Ooh. there. Yeah. <laughs> like that a lot. Okay, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so before we end this first part, it's getting I, I love the conversation now. It's more light and more, you know, fun. So yeah. tell us, you know what? I wrote I wrote a message to you uh, regarding sponsoring your evening gown because I I felt so in love with you, Nova. Aww. Yeah, so but I'm sure you have an evening gown now. So I can do. You, yeah, can you give us an idea about your evening gown? Don't tell us it's the color. Just give us an idea how it's going to look and feel. Okay. Okay, how do I say it without yeah. saying it? Okay, so my evening <laughs> gown... <laughs> my evening gown is going to be something vibrant. Okay. And it's going to be something that you have not seen on the oh, Miss wow. Universe stage before. Nice. So. I'm excited. Yeah. So who's doing it? A Canadian designer or a Mexican designer? Not a Canadian or a Mexican designer. Who? Oh my god. I'm excited. <laughs> I don't know if I can say it yet. Can I say it? I need to ask my team if I can say it. Okay, I'm, no, 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 you don't have to say it, but I'm really excited because like, because like I'll be sharing, you, you'll be sharing that gown with my gown for Miss Belize. And it's something, I'm designing the gown for Miss Belize. Okay. And it's done and we're shipping it to LA, uh, hopefully, you know, soon. Because like, okay. um, the national director is in Los Angeles and she, he's going to bring it to Belize. And it's something that I haven't done as well. I just finished. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Aww. Thank you. And I lack sleep. So, and I was like, okay, I have to rest. But it's Wow, when you're up. done already, that's amazing. I'm done already, yeah. Because like wow. God was telling me that you have to you have to finish it today, this time. Mm -hmm. And yeah, mm -hmm. we're going to ship it. And it's something I haven't really done before. And I'm like, so I'm sure the gown is excited to meet you. Just say hi to Miss Belize and say, yeah, of course. <laughs> And I can tell it. that you put your you put your heart and soul into it. So I Thank know it's going you. to be a beautiful gown made of love. Yes, God's love is that gown. Yeah. yeah. I'm really yeah. excited with your gown, Nova. Because like, uh, oh, it's not I'm from excited. Canada. It's Defin not done yet. So. <laughs> Definitely not from the Philippines too, right? Not technically from the Philippines. Oh, okay, okay, I get you. <laughs> okay, I get you now. Okay, I yeah. Get you now. Okay, I'll, I'll stop you there. I'll stop you there. Okay, so last question: What is your ideal for this part? What is your ideal man? My ideal man? Yeah. Do well, you technically, have time? You're, yeah, you're single, right? So for everyone who's really interested, yeah. <laughs> But I'm not looking. I'm single and not ready to mingle. I have oh, too much okay. things to do. Let's just put it out there because like okay. maybe, you know, someone will be okay. smitten and then, you know, okay. pursue you. Yeah. Oh God. My ideal man is kind. He is smart. Mm -hmm. He's adventurous because I do love adventure. He's funny. You know, when it's all said and done, we're all not going to look like this forever. So at least make yeah. me laugh, you know? Yeah. So humor is important to me. Romance is important to me. I wear, I'm quite romantic. I wear my heart on my sleeve and I, I love romance. I love a chivalrous man. I am that type of girl. Don't call me a diva, but I don't want to open my own door because I'm yeah. a queen and you should open my door and you should pull my seat and put a, a jacket over me if I'm cold. So I want a man that is kind to my feelings you know i want a man that is gentle with me you know the world expects me to be so strong all the time i don't want my man to also expect the same thing i want my man to allow me to just let go sometimes and cry because crying is not a sign of weakness yeah um i want a man that's hard working because i am and i also want a man that is family oriented you know family is very important to me living without my family 
I want a man that values family because that yeah. is something that I value. And unfortunately, I didn't have that growing up. I don't want to continue that as an adult as well with my new family. Um, that's, yeah, just a nice person. That's, yeah, you know, the basics. <laughs> <laughs> the basics. Yeah, I mean, I'll too much to you. ask, is it? <laughs> no, 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 Nova. N nothing is too much to ask, okay? I like you, that. Yeah, nothing is too much yeah. to ask. I've learned that when I became a born again Christian, God like just that. showed me that nothing is too much to ask. If it's a okay, Lord, Lord, the Miss Universe crown. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and the perfect man for you. When you okay, great. So that's part one. Yay, Nova. That was so amazing. And oh, that was fun. We, are, we are having so much fun so we far. Are. And we're definitely going to have so much fun with part two in Pageant Absolutely. Talks with Nova Stevens. So, yeah, thank you very much for um, watching this part of this interview with Nova Stevens here at Pageant Talk. And stay tuned to watch out for part two. So, bye. <laughs> Thank you.